Hello guys, it's me Z from Wireless Solution and today we are going to work on uh, Google verification account, how to bypass Google verification account on Samsung Galaxy J7 Star by Metro by T-Mobile or the one from T-Mobile. So you need to go back, make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. So what you need to do, you need to press and hold the screen. Turn on accessibility mode. Continue holding the screen with two fingers until you hear a beep. Voice assistant on. One exploring the screen. Touch interaction is blocked while two connects button. Okay. So Touch now pre activate. press and hold the back button twice. Samsung setup wizard. Now you are already here. So you will hit on the emergency call. Double tap the emergency call. Now we are going to call to emergency. It will be 11. Okay. Call button. You will call. Now add another call. Now it's being done. So now you are in the place that you can make another call. Okay, and as you guys see, I press the home button three times, so it removed the it removed the voice axis. Now, what you are going to do is you will go to these three dots. Once you go to these three dots, right? So go to setting. Once you go to setting, you will scroll down, right? You will go to scroll down, then go to about the phone, upgrade, update, click on update. Once you click on update, click on take this mark that I accept the policy, hit next. Now, as we guys are already here, right? So you can see here, you will click the search button and you will see ES. file hit es file so you will come here you can see the es file you will click on this one you will hit install so once you install it it will ask for the samsung account you can make the samsung account in any samsung phone so you will have to put your samsung account okay i i have a samsung account so i will put it here now i'm going to put the password so you can see that i logged into the samsung account i agree hit agree done now what you will see you will install this app okay once you you can click here type google okay once you open this app so click on the screen okay you can see this cross sign click on that one Okay. Now, click on this one. So now you can type in as a V N R O M.
bypass Okay, sorry guys, there was a little misconfusion. So once you guys are here, you can see this sign, right? You will click on this sign. It will take you to the web browser, Google. Now you are on the Google. So you will type Win, v -N -R -O -M, WinROM bypass. Once you are in the WinROM bypass, go to all. Click on this one, the first one, WinROM bypass 2018. <coughs> Now we are going to download three apps. One is Android 6 G G A M A P K. Uh, while it's installing, I'll answer the phone. Give me one second. Okay, sorry for that. There was a call. Uh, it's already being downloaded. The other one we can download is uh, FRP Bypass A P K. You will click on this one. This one is gonna download okay download successfully the other we are going to download the quick shortcut maker apk so this one is gonna be downloaded. so once this is downloaded you will hit open file right install it it will, it will go to setting it will allow the source yes go back install it's done open <clears throat> so once it's done and you open it go down and we are going to <clears throat> go to Samsung experience home that will be in S LS okay guys so now we are going to go you can see samsung experience home you will click on this one click on the first one and try so it will directly <coughs> take you to to here now what we are going to do is you will go here and once you go here we are going to find the download files okay my files now you come to my file come to downloads mm. downloads where is that apk installer okay once you go to come to my file apk installer three downloads is there so the first one we are going to install is android 6 gsm GM APK Okay, hit done. The second one we are going to do is FRP bypass APK. open so you will be here instead of going here you will click on here browser sign in okay so now here you will put your new gmail account I put my new now and then you will put your password Hello. okay 
working. You will sign into it. Okay, it's done. Then once it's done, you will go back. Go back to. You simply will restart the phone. Once you restart the phone, so after restarting it, I'll show you what next to do. It will take a few seconds. In the meanwhile, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so you can see right now, you can hit uh, next. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Hit next. I agree. Hit next. It will check for updates. It will take a few seconds. You can see that this account is being like this so you will hit next once you hit next so it will show you do you want uh, to backup don't restore our backup no thank you skip anyway once you go with here I agree. We'll skip. You will click on this one. So undo all of them. Okay, you will come here, then you click here back up. All these you need to undo. More I agree. Skip. Adding finish finish <coughs> it's all done so your Samsung Galaxy J7 star has been factory downloaded now what you can do you can go to the setting once you go to the setting you will go to find reset okay guys once you are in the setting you will go to the general management go to reset once you guys are in reset you will get factory data reset <coughs> and you can see here are all the my new gmail account so you will hit hard factory reset and delete all so here it will ask for your google account password that you first put in the account so you will put that password okay and it's being done so now once the phone is being resetted you can completely incomplete your process just skip everything and boom you are ready to go as a new phone uh, you bypass the Google verification account on the Samsung Galaxy J7 star. Thank you so much, guys, and have enjoy your time. Always keep blessing, be nice with each other, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. See you next time in next video.